In April 1986, the world witnessed one of the most catastrophic nuclear disasters in history at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine. This event not only altered the course of nuclear energy but also left an indelible mark on human history. Today, Chernobyl continues to intrigue scientists, historians, and the general public. This video delves into the ongoing developments at Chernobyl, exploring its history, current status, and future prospects. The Chernobyl disaster, one of the worst nuclear accidents in history, occurred on April 26, 1986. This catastrophic event unfolded during a late-night safety test at Reactor No. 4 of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant located near the city of Pripyat in the then-Soviet Ukraine. The test, which aimed to assess the reactor safety systems under emergency conditions, went horribly wrong due to a combination of design flaws and human error. During the test, a sudden power surge caused the reactor to overheat. This led to a series of explosions that ruptured the reactor vessel and blew off the reactor building's roof. The explosions released massive amounts of radioactive particles into the atmosphere, contaminating large swaths of Europe. In the immediate aftermath of the explosion, the town of Pripyat, which was situated just three kilometers from the plant, faced a dire situation. Over 49,000 residents were quickly evacuated to protect them from the escalating radiation levels. However, the evacuation process was hasty and poorly managed, leading to significant delays and exposure among the population. As the severity of the disaster became clearer, it was determined that a larger area required evacuation due to widespread contamination. Ultimately, more than 200,000 people were relocated from the affected regions surrounding the plant. This mass relocation involved displacing entire communities and relocating residents to safer areas far from the contaminated zones. The scale of the evacuation effort reflects the magnitude of the disaster and the extensive impact of radioactive contamination on both human lives and the environment. The immediate and long-term effects of the accident have continued to shape discussions on nuclear safety and emergency response. The Soviet government's initial response was shrouded in secrecy, delaying the evacuation and exposing countless individuals to harmful radiation. The international community only learned of the disaster after heightened radiation levels were detected in Sweden. This lack of transparency exacerbated the crisis and fueled global anxiety about nuclear safety. In the aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster, the explosion and subsequent fire at Reactor No. 4 resulted in the release of approximately 5% of the reactor core's radioactive materials into the environment. This massive release of radiation severely contaminated the immediate surroundings, leading to the creation of a 30-kilometer exclusion zone around the plant. This area became uninhabitable due to dangerously high radiation levels, which forced the evacuation of thousands of residents from nearby towns, including Pripyat. In the weeks following the explosion, acute radiation syndrome claimed the lives of 28 plant workers and firefighters, who had been exposed to lethal doses of radiation while combating the fire and managing the crisis. These individuals experienced severe health effects, including nausea, vomiting, and skin burns, which ultimately led to their deaths. Long-term health effects of the disaster have been a subject of extensive study and debate. Those exposed to radiation have shown higher incidences of thyroid cancer, particularly among children, and other health issues such as genetic mutations and increased rates of various cancers. While estimates vary, the exact number of long-term casualties remains contested among researchers. Due to the complexity of tracking and attributing these health effects directly to the disaster, the Chernobyl disaster also had significant political and social repercussions. It exposed the systemic deficiencies and failures within the Soviet system, including inadequate safety measures, lack of transparency, and poor crisis management. The disaster's aftermath contributed to growing public discontent and played a role in the eventual dissolution of the USO. Additionally, it prompted a global reevaluation of nuclear safety practices and regulations, leading to major reforms in nuclear industry standards to prevent similar incidents in the future. Fast forward to today, Chernobyl is a unique paradoxical site. The exclusion zone, covering approximately 2,600 square kilometers, is both a radioactive wasteland and a thriving wildlife sanctuary, with human activity significantly reduced. Flora and fauna have reclaimed the area. Species such as wolves, bears, and lynxes roam freely, and biodiversity has flourished in the absence of human interference. 
the new safe confinement, a massive steel structure completed in 2016, now encases reactor No. 4. This sarcophagus aims to contain the remaining radioactive material and prevent further environmental contamination. Despite these efforts, the site remains hazardous, with radiation levels still dangerously high in certain areas. Chernobyl has emerged as a critical site for scientific research, providing a rare and valuable opportunity to study the long-term impacts of radiation on both the environment and living organisms. The exclusion zone, encompassing approximately 2,600 square kilometers around the disaster site, offers a unique natural laboratory where researchers can explore the effects of chronic radiation exposure on ecosystems that have been isolated from human activity. One of the primary areas of investigation in Chernobyl is the resilience and adaptation of wildlife. Despite the harsh conditions, a diverse range of species, including mammals like wolves, bears and deer, as well as various bird species and insects, have thrived within the exclusion zone. Studies have shown that these animals exhibit remarkable adaptability, with some species even showing signs of increased reproductive success and population growth compared to pre-disaster levels. Researchers are particularly interested in understanding how these species cope with elevated radiation levels. They study genetic changes, health impacts, and ecological interactions to gain insights into radiation tolerance. For example, Certain wildlife species have developed unique biological responses to mitigate the harmful effects of radiation, such as enhanced DNA repair mechanisms. These findings contribute to our understanding of how radiation influences evolutionary processes and species survival. In addition to wildlife, the exclusion zone also serves as a case study for ecosystem recovery. Scientists monitor the regrowth of vegetation, changes in soil composition, and shifts in species composition over time. This research helps to assess how ecosystems can recover from severe disruptions and provides valuable information for managing and restoring environments affected by radiation or other forms of pollution. Overall, Chernobyl's exclusion zone offers a rare glimpse into the resilience of life and the complex interplay between radiation and ecological systems. The research conducted here not only advances scientific knowledge, but also informs policies and practices related to environmental management and nuclear safety. Moreover, Chernobyl serves as a poignant reminder of the potential consequences of nuclear energy. It has inspired numerous safety innovations and continues to influence policies and practices in the nuclear industry. International collaborations focus on improving nuclear waste management, reactor safety, and emergency response protocols. Despite its dark history, Chernobyl has become an unlikely tourist destination. Guided tours offer a glimpse into the abandoned towns and the hauntingly frozen moment of 1986. This form of dark tourism raises ethical questions but also helps to keep the memory of the disaster alive, ensuring that its lessons are not forgotten. The cultural impact of Chernobyl extends beyond tourism. It has inspired a wealth of literature, films and art, capturing the imagination of people worldwide. The 2019 HBO miniseries, Chernobyl, brought renewed attention to the disaster, highlighting the human stories and the heroism of those who dealt with the immediate aftermath. Chernobyl remains a complex and challenging site. The decommissioning of the remaining reactors and the long-term management of radioactive waste are ongoing tasks that require significant resources and expertise. The Ukrainian government, with international support, continues to address these challenges aiming to mitigate the environmental and health impacts. The future of Chernobyl is deeply connected to larger global issues concerning nuclear energy and environmental stewardship. As the world faces the dual challenges of climate change and the quest for sustainable energy solutions, the lessons learned from the Chernobyl disaster remain profoundly relevant. Chernobyl serves as a stark reminder of the potential risks associated with nuclear power. The disaster highlighted critical flaws in safety protocols emergency response and transparency within the nuclear industry. It underscored the necessity for rigorous safety standards to prevent similar incidents in the future. The catastrophic release of radiation at Chernobyl demonstrated the dire consequences of inadequate safety measures and the importance of having robust systems in place to handle emergencies. Moreover, Chernobyl's legacy emphasizes the need for transparency in nuclear operations.